All right. I got the woman's photo here. Now All right. I should look for any details that can tell me who this woman is. Hmm. What is that on her bracelet? Her name? Sarah. All right. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. This is her, the woman from that picture. Let's see... I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. One evidence form coming up. Exactly what it says. A people search. No known current address. I should see if I can speak to this guy. Let's see what this gets me. Hey, Erica. Hey, Gwen. So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only... Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. I have a request for you. Yeah? I'm looking for some evidence on a case from a couple of years back. Well, aren't you in luck. We just moved archives from the past three years back here. Anything further back, uh, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be around. Do you have your evidence form? Right. No, I I'll get one. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Here you go. All right, just one minute. There are more tapes, but this was all I could find. Okay, thank you. Hey, Erica. Hey, Gwen. Do you have anywhere I can play this tape you gave me? Oh, shoot, no. I'm sorry. None of that stuff has been moved. And since we've gone digital now, nobody's really worrying. Yeah. Well, at least we're out of the prehistoric period. But that leaves you in a pickle now. Sorry. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime.
McCoy? Red? I found something interesting in Davy's office. Reed, tell me you didn't sneak in there. Relax. Listen to this. Davy's got a fax yesterday. It mentioned someone was going to be hanged before the killing. So that's why she brought us in. The message also points to a package left in the post office for Davies. Davies shredded the message. It must not have been fully shredded because later she pulled it and saved what was left. But why didn't she just mention this last night? She's walking on eggshells, and last time we cracked one, a lot went wrong. But we have a killer on the loose. She should have told us everything. You don't know everything that's happened around here, Red. Trust me on this, kiddo. I'm going to call her. I tried earlier. She didn't pick up. Has Sully said anything about me? Look, I'm not good at this lovey-dovey shit, but we were Joey's the other night, throwing him back, and the kid opened up. He's confused. Oh, I don't blame him. I have fun when I'm with him. It's just... I feel like I'm cheating. You mean because of... You know. It's one thing when you touch a body and find details that help on a crime scene. But when someone holds your hand and you see him looking at penthouse magazines and... Don't all guys do that? It's not that. I feel intrusive. If I find things that I don't like later, too bad. But I want to get there at my own pace. <laughs> I don't want to know his parents before I even have the chance to feel it's going too fast when he asks me to meet him. Man, I don't know what it'd be of me if every time I kiss my ex-wife I saw my mother-in-law. <laughs> And that's on a good day. I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues behind that are pointing to another old case. Go on. Well, here's the thing. This other case? It was a hanging too. But it was closed as a suicide. Apparently the husband insisted it was a murder. What do you think? I need to gather more info. Keep me posted. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Hey, Sully. So, you change your mind about lunch? No. I need to ask you something. What is it? I found your name on a case and I need details. You remember anything about Sarah Goodman? How can I forget? That was my first case, when McAdams was still in charge. I took the case with Davies. Why did the FBI take the case? Because of the husband. He refused to believe it was a suicide. He had some important and powerful friends, and we got pulled into it. How did it go down? Uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He was always abroad. When he came back this time, he found his wife hanging in their condo and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately ruled it a suicide. The husband made some calls, and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. So you were there at the crime scene? Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. <laughs> Nothing like that for your first real case. Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. So the husband... This Robert Goodman. He was cleared of all charges? He was abroad on a business trip. We checked and his story cleared. He was very disturbed. Nobody's that good an actor. Do you know where I can find him now? Uh, as it happens, yeah. I saw him not long ago. He's, uh, he's on the streets. He is? Yeah, here's the saddest part of the story. He never gave up on the case. He obsessed over it. Quit his job, spent all of his money, lost his home. And it drove him mad. I dealt with him a lot of times when he would come here to beg for us to reopen the case, saying he had new proof. So that's who that was. I remember seeing him a few times, yeah. Did you ever look at this new evidence? Briefly. He went on about the possibility of someone having done this to others. But Davy said we'd be wasting our time. And really, there was nothing concrete. As for where you can find him, he hangs out around Shafter Avenue in Dorchester. I'll send the exact location to your phone. Who closed the case? Davies. We did our due research. Interrogated Robert Goodman. 
but there was nothing pointing at murder. We talked to several family members who knew Goodman's wife. They had moved to the city recently from some suburb in California because of the husband's work. What did the relatives say? The, the victim was on antidepressants. They'd been living here for a little less than a year and she wasn't coping well with the move. It all pointed to suicide. So, uh, what's your interest? I need to look at a couple of things before I can say. I may need your help on this. Anything you need, Erica. Thank you, Jared. See you later, Sully. Yeah. Hello. I I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? About Robert Goodman. Who's looking for him? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Can you point me to Robert Goodman? That would be me, Agent. What do you want? You were married to Sarah Goodman, is that correct? What about Sarah? I'm conducting an investigation on her death, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but that's a part of my past I'd rather not relive. It would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. How could I convince him? Is this Sarah? Oh, Sarah. Yes, this is her. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. There are others out there whose lives could depend on your help. Will you please come with me? I'll come with you, Agent Reed, but I'm not sure I can be of any help. Okay, Robert is in the interrogation room. I need to tell John. McCoy? Red? I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right. Let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? Nah, I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. So who do you want, Erica? Let's go, John. I want to do this on my own. Go ahead, Red. I need to get into the room for that. <laughs> 
All right, Mr. Goodman. I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. John, I need to take care of something. Keep an eye on the guy. He won't be going nowhere. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Works every time. I need to get closer. <laughs> yeah, good. How about something sweet? Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Can I take one? Do me a favor, child, and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad.
thank you. So will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman. Very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir, I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? Do you know this man? Well, that's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me. I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait. That's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with. Where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. All right. I should be able to get into his memories. But first, I need to find a way so that he'll let me touch him. What are you doing? Don't touch me. I'm sorry. I need to get him to stay put. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. <laughs> 